EchoCat by Waves Factory. This is a recreation of the famous copycat by Charlie Watkins from 1958. So if you're looking for a really great tape delay, tape echo, check EchoCat. They added some cool modern features as well as all the little things that you can find in the original or, well, I don't think most of us can find in the original. That's why we have this plugin. So let's get started. Get to know EchoCat. This is EchoCut, this is the main view, and on the top you can see we have a preset selector. They included some presets and you can save your own. We have menu here with the manual and the website and so on. We also have a panic button, so if we get into a situation where you want to just cut the signal, then just click this uh, exclamation mark. And here we have the views selector, we have heads, the different heads and their controls, tape controls, motor, and a master view, and we'll cover these in a moment. So on the bottom we have power on off, we have the inputs, uh, and, and this can actually be used to drive the signal into distortion, it will um, try and match the outputs, but you can adjust that with the output knob here. And in addition, of course, we have feedback, that's the sustain. Okay, so sustain and feedback are the same here. And we have mix, so you can mix the original with the delayed sound. Let's hear something. Right, and we can drive the signal into self-oscillation using this sustain just above 50% and you need to watch out, it can get very loud. And that's why we have the panic button here. So watch out for that. And now let's go over the different views, the head, tape, motor and master. The heads view. So we have three heads and there's a select selector on the bottom here. So you can just engage this and get those heads in play. You can actually use this unit without any of the heads, just getting the general vibe of the unit. And all these uh, uh, have the same controls. You have this time selector here and it can be uh, in a uh, uh, sync with your uh, DAW, with your host, or just free with milliseconds. And we have volume, panning, high pass, and low pass for each. So that's the heads. Moving on to the tape. So in the tape view, we have some uh, more controls that are kind of recreation of the original vibe and the sounds that you might get from a hardware echo or tape echo. So first of all we have hiss and naturally in, uh, in plugins or in the box you don't have hisses but you can introduce that. Now they did include auto muting, which means that when you're not playing anything through this unit, then there will be no hiss, or you can have the hiss all the time. All right, and then you can also select if it's a mono or stereo hiss, if that makes any difference for you. You can use this for sound design maybe and create, uh, you know, hisses and uh, and. Uh, kind of sounds. Next we have the uh, artifacts or things that are related to the way um, tape is working. We have woe and flutter which will introduce some randomness uh, either slow or faster into the mix here and we also have age of the tape and signal loss which is uh, also something that is pretty random or things that you uh, you will find in uh, in real uh, tape so uh, you know the age of the tape and how the signal is uh, is just getting lost as time goes by and we also have loop 
gap, which, uh, well, again, this is uh, related to tape because uh, the tapes are um, just in a loop and they're taped in one point or another and that uh, little uh, segment is just a gap in the tape. So uh, you can have that gap introduced as, uh, as the tape rolls over. Next we have motor. So this is about the mechanism, the motor that drives the tape. And again, we have hum and we have auto mute and you have 50 Hertz, you have 60 Hertz, depends where you are on the globe. And we have very speed to create modulation. So right now there's no modulation. I can set the amount, but that's really about the modulation here. You can have the depth and the um, just the frequency here and you can select the sine or the triangle waveforms. Right, and that's pretty much it. That's the motor. And next we have the master view. And here we have some, uh, some nice uh, controls like docking and you can have it in stereo or for the mid and you can set the amount. very subtle and we also have just general tone like bass and treble high pass and low pass for the entire unit and you can also create uh, uh, some mid side effects here with the output so you can uh, just uh, increase the mids sides and so on and we have mono stereo and fake stereo so if your signal is in mono you can click this and if you're in stereo, use stereo. But uh, if the signal is already in stereo, then uh, the stereo uh, doesn't do any, any effect here. But if you do a fake stereo, you'll get a kind of a delay on one of the channels. I think it's like 50 um, milliseconds on the right side. And that is it. So what we'll do, let me just grab my guitar and we'll play with Echo Cut. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is pretty much it. This is Echo Card by Waves Factory. I hope you enjoy this one. So subscribe, like and comment. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I'll see you in the next videos.